couldn't just wait to get started with this. I've been waiting for it for a while already and I'm so happy to finally have almost everything and just being able to like do like a look with it. And it's just one of my favorite characters. I grew up loving him and just admiring him. And even the live action movie, I know it by memory. Like I, ugh, I'm just very excited for this. And I hope you all like this as much as I'm going to enjoy it. So if you want to watch me transform into one of the best Disney characters out there, in my opinion, don't come at me. Then go ahead and keep watching and let's go ahead and get started with this right away. Okay, so here we're just going to go ahead and start off with our foundation and just getting our face ready for what is to come. And then after this, I will apply my face powder just to set it all together. And so the magic begins here. I'm going to use an orange and a dark red shade to do the little auburn look. And what you want them is to have thick and arched eyebrows. And so I'm outlining them close to my nose and fill them in from there. Add a little brown if they seem too red or orange. Go ahead and brush up your hairs to give them a messy boy look and finish it off. Here I'm just contouring what I think needs to be contoured. The nose contour, do not do it on the right bridge. Do it a little bit outer so you can give it the more masculine effect just like I'm doing right here. And I'm connecting it to the end of the brow on both sides. Next, I'm going to contour the inner of my eyes again for that masculine effect. Most of this contouring is to give it the more boyish look rather than leaving it at feminine. So here I mix the shades of an orange and a dark reddish just to put it under my eyes, my cheekbones, under the nose, the chin, and the forehead. So this helps give that little sunburn look and like you've been outside just like Peter is usually on the woods and basically lives in it. So right here I'm just going to outline my top and bottom lash line just so I can give it a little bit more of a fuller effect and not have to use mascara or eyeliner. And here we have one part of the costume and we should go get changed because that's not the right shirt. Ta-da! Now my hair. That's not Peter's hair. Let's go ahead and pop this thing on. And we're almost done, just one final touch and oh, oh, there it is. There's the magic. And there's that. That is how I turned myself into the amazing Peter Pan. 
and it's just something I've always like looked forward to because I like I said I love Peter Pan I think he's one of the greatest characters I grew up admiring him and like you know I just I get it I don't want to grow up either I want to be a child forever and yeah he just you know he's just an inner little boy that everybody has and you know I think I think some of those stories are great I mean the Peter Pan book itself is kind of like you know but um yeah I think some of those stories are great and everything even like the theories behind it like you know everything's just very fascinating about it one of my damn one of my dreams would be to just go to Disneyland and meet Peter Pan or even like get the position as Peter Pan like I just love it so much I love him so very much and yeah he's a bit of an ass but then again I don't know I have a thing for very toxic people so maybe that's why but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope all of y'all can get a little bit something out of this whenever you want to turn yourself into Peter Pan. And to my regular viewers or whatever, I know, again, I don't have a big platform or anything like that. But um, why don't you let me know who's your favorite character? Who, What Disney character you would like to cosplay or even be as or meet at Disneyland or whatever. I'm very interested in who's y'all's favorite Disney character is because I think everybody has their one favorite. Um, and, you know, we might like a lot of them, but there's always that one. That num the one that takes the number one spot. And I'm very curious as to who yours is. Um, so like, let's do it this way. Fairy like hero and then villain. So for me, my favorite hero will be Peter Pan. And my favorite villain is Gaston, who is on my future cosplay list. So let's hope for that. So yeah, why don't you let me know like that? And I'm I'm very interested in that. So yeah, I'm very like in love with Disney and characters. And who the hell is in? I'm not the only one, come on. So once again, I hope you all enjoy this. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Stay humble, stay safe. I'll see you all later.